Hi, this here is the Jet City Jetstream ISO 2 100 watt isolation cap. This quick review is not going to go into how well mics can pick up the sound. This is purely a volume uh, sample. I'm going to show you the volumes uh, based on the Hughes and Kettner Tubemeister 18 running 1 watt, then 5, then 18 watts. Now, I got this, I believe, four or five weeks ago, maybe even six, and the price, brand new, was $230, which was a pretty sweet deal. They've since jacked the price up to $300. So, uh, I'm, you know, I probably wouldn't have paid $300 for it. Uh, $230 was a pretty good price, so I went for it. Now, it's available in two options. For $300, you get it fitted out with uh, Jetstream's very own Eminence 12-inch 100-watt speaker. For 250 bucks, you get the cabinet without the speaker. So, uh, in other words, they're sort of valuing their own speaker at about $50, which is uh, very cheap. Now, it's a plywood construction, and uh, without, you know, the sort of Tolex cover, Inside, I'll cut to that shot, it's basically stuffed with the kind of material that's used to make Santa Claus beards. Um, it does a pretty good job of keeping the sound down, but there are better options out there. And another thing we'll get to uh, is the, uh, the construction, really, of the uh, latch system. It's definitely flawed, as we'll find out. Um, Further specs, two XLR uh, jacks for accommodating two different microphones and there are also two flanges to attach your microphone goosenecks or I guess short stands. Um, so without further ado, currently running one watt on the Hughes and Kettner. So this is the sound with the door closed. So I'm pretty sure you would have heard the strings uh, getting picked up by the microphone. At one watt, it's, it's not even as loud as one of these little Marshall toy amps. Uh, very quiet, so we're going to... same settings, door open. Now, I've got to be quick with this because this is a, a New York City apartment and uh, noise is, uh, is very much frowned on in these parts. So. This is one watt door open. You know, loud, but not overly loud. Um, so, you know, judge for yourself. The cabinet did its job. It definitely kept the volume down by at least sort of 80, 90 percent. We're going to latch this back up and we're going to run the Hughes and Kettner on 5 watts. So 5 watts of power, door closed, this is what we get. You hear the buzzing? This is what I meant by the this latch system being uh, not particularly well designed. It's clamping down on the uh, on the door, but it's not clamping enough. So there's vibration where the door meets the chassis. Um, there is one workaround whereby if you undo the latch, believe it or not, which kind of defeats the purpose, the volume does increase slightly, but it does eliminate some of that buzz. So here we go door still closed but the latch is off. See that? Okay none of that vibration um, but like I said defeats the purpose of uh, 
you know, latching everything down. Uh, I believe one workaround also is to use uh, weather stripping, you know, that sort of uh, sticky back foam put around windows and doors. May try that, but to be honest, um, for me, having the door unlatched is not really that big of a problem. So that was door closed 5 watts. Here's door open 5 watts. Okay, pretty loud. Uh, definitely not something we could use on a regular basis in a New York apartment. So final sun test, Tube Meister running 18 watts. Again, door closed, here we go. Horrendous buzzing, right? Um, try the door unlatched, but still closed. Okay, we've created another source of buzzing. This time, the latch itself, because it's not clamped down, is buzzing. Uh, so, you know, it's basically one or the other. You have the door latched shut, the chassis vibrates, you undo the latch, the chassis stops vibrating, but the latch itself vibrates. Um, again, depending on how loud you're using it to record with, the chances are this this will not get picked up by the internal microphones. So that may not be a problem for you. Um, we're going to do the uh, very quickly 18 watts door opened. Okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so there you've had it. Jet City Jetstream ISO 200 watt isolation cab. For the money, the 300 they're now charging, uh, I mean, it's, if it's, if this is your last resort, then, you know, 300 bucks, okay, not too much. Um, there are obviously better ISO cabs out there. This is the low end of things. And to be honest, I'm reasonably happy with it. Um, maybe down the line we'll do a video on how well the mics record, but this video was purely to show you the sort of volumes involved. So I um, hope you enjoyed that and if you were thinking about getting one maybe this might swing you one way or the other. So please like this video, please do subscribe, we've got a lot of great videos coming up and uh, thank you for watching.